Hi, I'm Dr. Barker with Integrative Pain and Wellness Center, and today we're evaluating a patient who has had a knee surgery. He tore some of the ligaments in his knee and has had uh, surgery in the past, and the knee is still causing some problems. And one of the things that can happen after a surgery or a trauma is it can cause autonomic nervous system dysfunction. And why do we care about that? Because it can cause decreased blood flow, so it can cause problems uh, with blood flow to the knee so it can make it so he's not healing fully after his surgery or if he has a new injury it may cause problems down the road. The second reason is it can cause either local or referred pain. So somebody with a history of a knee surgery with autonomic nervous system dysfunction could be coming in 10 years later with hip pain and we are focusing on the hip and treating the hip and even imaging the hip and nothing is really working and there's nothing wrong with the hip, it's because the pain is coming from the knee. So the way that we determine if there's autonomic dysfunction from a trauma or from a surgery is with muscle testing. So if you come zoom in on these scars, he's got a scar here, 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 and one up here. And so if I just put my fingers over the scar, now, this is a nice strong patient, and so he's going to resist me. It's important that he's not holding his breath. And I put my finger on the scars, so right here he's strong. Put my finger on the scars, he goes weak. So if there's autonomic dysfunction, just contacting that part of the body causes all of the muscles in the body to go about 50% weaker. And then we determine if this is a priority or non-priority by having the patient hold their breath. So now take a deep breath in and, and resist. So strength came back with breath holding. So we know this is a priority dysfunction. We'll check the next scar. So breathe but resist. Okay, breathe but resist again. Okay, so this one's testing normal. Next scar, breathe but resist. Okay, deep breath in and hold. Okay, so that one's a priority. Breathe but resist. Okay, deep breath and hold. Okay, that one's testing priority. Breathe but resist. Okay, deep breath and hold. Good, priority. And one last one. Breathe but resist. Okay, deep breath and hold. Good. So all of them were testing priority. This one tested normal, so we'll leave that one alone and treat the rest. The other part is we can check his knee joint. So we have to be careful to not be on any of those scars, but just gap the knee joint and breathe but resist. And the knee joint is also testing weak. Now deep breath and hold and testing as a priority. So to treat the joint, we would treat the whole joint around treat the scars, we're just gonna treat the scars. And this is a technique called neurotherapy. Uh, so in the next video, we'll talk about, we'll show you the neurotherapy part.